The New Public Management Approach In contrast to well-established traditional models of public administration, the New Public Management model is a looser grouping of concepts, which were synthesized by academics from empirical observations and promoted by management consultants and think tanks since the early 1980s. It is partly grounded in an economic theory of bureaucracy that gave new public management a political rationale. Basically, it describes the concept of delegating traditional administrative responsibilities to private firms. Therefore, the preferred instruments of political control and legitimacy are not rules, regulations and procedures anymore, but the control by goals and output standards. In theory, this emphasis on privatization and goals instead of procedures will lead to more administrative responsibility to the citizens, as well as more specialization, professionalization, competition and therefore an increased performance. However, there are critical voices from three major perspectives. From an economic point of view, an increased competition between private companies will lead to the interest to keep relevant information within company. According to the transaction cost theory, this method will decrease the overall performance in the sector and therefore the service provided to the citizens suffers. Another economic concern is the allocation of public goods, as these goods require substantial investment before there is any reward, and then the service may be open to use by the public without full payment. From a managerial perspective, there are voices that raise the issue of potentially difficult integration of the private companies into public administration and therefore the effective use of the model. Another concern from this field are the potentially different work ethics of public administrators and private sector employees. While the performance of these types of offices is similar, their motivation are differentiated into more altruistic motivated public administrators and more work-related motivated private employees. Finally, there's the critical political approach to new public management. The mainstream arguments are focused on the problem of decreasing accountability of the administrative of the political side. Part of that problem might be the concern of political patronage because of the potentially much more aggressively represented private interests in the political system. To put it in a nutshell, new public management is a concept which describes the separation of politics and public administration through privatization. But because of the foregoing arguments, some sectors might be unsuitable for that mission. This leads us to the central question of this presentation. Is defense and security policy a case for politics or administration? Created using Powtoon.